Hi, this is Heather. Welcome to another episode of Show Me the Results. Today we're in the Organic Chemistry Lab and we're going to do a synthesis reaction. So we're going to dust off our OCHEM here and see if we can synthesize 3 methyl butyl phenylacetate, which we can see right here on the blackboard over here. So you're going to have you synthesize this compound and then you're going to compare what you create with the actual compound. So for example, if we pull up the proton NMR of that compound, this is what it looks like. So we'll save that um, NMR spectra to the lab book. So when we eventually create our compound, we'll be able to compare it and see if it looks the same. We'll also pull up an FTIR so we can compare that transmittance report. Okay, so now let's start synthesizing. Here we go. So we're going to add our carboxylic acid and our alcohol. There we go. And then we'll add some ether as our solvent. See, there we go. Okay, now we'll take our round bottom flask and put it over on the hot plate. And then we'll add some sulfuric acid, which will allow us to synthesize the product. So hopefully, with these reagents and the solvent, we'll be able to create that ester that your teacher asked you to create. This is a pretty slow reaction, so we're going to add some heat. And if we do that, we need a condenser coil. And if we don't add nitrogen, this is going to explode, which you should try. It's pretty neat. Okay, so we'll turn this on and we'll start watching the reaction to be able to track the progress. We can do a TLC. Okay, we can see we're right at the beginning. Here's our reagents track. Here's our products track. We can see we're just barely beginning to create those products because the reaction is slow. So we'll advance time, which is the luxury of using a virtual lab. See how we're doing? Okay, we've created a lot more of the products. We still have some of the reagents to go. So we'll advance time some more. Okay, now let's see if we've made it yet. Oh good, okay, so we're all to products. So we believe we have created 3-methylbutylphenylacetate. Let's see how it looks. So we'll pull up our separatory funnel, separate into there, add water. There we go. Okay, so now we have an organic layer and an aqueous layer. We're going to pull off the organic layer. So that simulated a rotary evaporator step. So now we've got what we think is our product here, and now let's start to test it. So the two tests we did were proton NMR and FTIR. Let's start with the proton NMR. So if we just grab this, pull down, here's our new NMR spectrum of the product that we created. So we'll save that one to compare, and then we'll go back to the lab, and we'll also do our FTIR on what we created, and save that. Great. Okay, so now show me the results. What do we have? So this is what we had wanted to produce. You can see the spectra there, the different peaks. Okay, we can see the locations. We've got about a seven and a half, close to seven, four. Okay, let's pull up the one for the product that we created to see how well we did in our synthesis. It matches exactly. So we know we created the exact same compound that we had attempted to create. Now let's look at the FTIR just to make sure. So look at that characteristic spectra there. And look, it matches. Ta-da! The results show that you created what you wanted in the lab today. Congratulations! Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and go to beyondlabs.com to download the entire suite of virtual labs.